perfect time. Here comes the other truck. We're going to see if we can't get them loaded here quick. But uh, July 25th, and you can see the corn really liked that nitrogen. And it looks really good, mostly dark green. A couple little spots where the water sits maybe a little more. But uh, all in all, this field's kind of sandy. But like if you look over here, it's all dark green. So really happy with our nitrogen application and what the corn's doing. Loading out of here. I think we might go to this one and put a sweep in. Don't take long to load a truck with a tractor powered auger. Getting a bean truck loaded here, and then I'm going to work on moving this auger out of the way because it's kind of in the way when we load out of the leg. So I'll move it here, but I'm um, just getting full here, so I gotta go shut it off because it takes a little bit to empty through all the leg here. Really windy, hard to hear me probably. So to hear me a little better, we do have the Farmall H over here, loading corn out of the big bins, 245,000 bushel bins. It's got a swing hopper on it, so we can switch between the bins without moving, which is kind of slick. And uh, it, uh, it loads faster than the electric one. Not by much, but it does, just because it's a tractor driving it instead of a motor, electric motor. The truck, uh, he's got his air gauges down to a science. I've probably got it at like the 78,000 pound mark right now. Probably could add a couple thousand pounds. But I'll wait for him to stop by, or stop back with the other truck before we do that. Uh, I'd rather stay a little light than go a little heavy and get fined, so. Uh, what I am going to do though is get some wrenches and move this auger to that bin and get because uh, they're getting cleaned out here. So I'm going to use a uh, pipeline path here and uh, just check this out. So we're across the row from the bins. So when we were up on top, you know, we were looking at that really dark stuff. This is what we're looking at right now. So, uh, you know, if I go too far in here, I'm going to get real itchy, you know, but. Uh, it's uh well let's see it's all of probably nine eight to nine feet tall you can see we got a pretty uniform stand we're on the headlands so if i were to walk in farther i think we'd be just as pleased if not more pleased um everything looks really good <clears throat> still dark green um with that nitrogen we put down they say that the corn 75 percent of the nitrogen that it needs in its lifetime it's used from when we y dropped to now or till the you know to the end of its growing life so it's crucial that you get nitrogen uh, to the corn to finish it out and finish it out strong like this so I mean it looks great and uh, happy the beans uh, for a while they were short and uh, about a couple two and a half weeks ago maybe they took off and they're looking pretty respectable right now so um, you know as long as mother nature keeps treating us all right we've we've had heat uh, they were calling for a drought this summer, but uh, it has not been a drought. We've had no shortage of rain, and uh, it's been pounding rains a lot of times, and it wasn't supposed to rain, but now it's clouding back up, so I don't know if we're going to get a shot here or not. Probably in the next hour, it says, but it might be sooner than that, the way the clouds are starting to, to look. But a little, little bit of rain wouldn't hurt us. Uh, it's a little dusty, but you know, but it, uh, we're happy, happy with what, the way things look. And it's hauling season now, so I'm gonna go back over and uh, keep keep. Uh, I gotta move that auger, move that truck, and you should be back within a half hour with the empty truck to load again. So, all right. Should also mention that uh, I just rode along <clears throat> with that last soybean load. Didn't get any footage. Um, it's all the same. I went to Riverport, I think it was called. I don't know if that's the name of it or not, but it's up in Savage area, <clears throat> and. Uh, it's kind of neat, <clears throat> excuse me, because as I was on, I was cranking the trailer open. <coughs> Woo! All right. A fellow about my age come up to me, and we had seen his truck, and when we were in line, we we're like, that's a sharp looking truck. You know, uh, the side of the truck said Elfman Trucking. And then he came up to me, he's like, hey, you do YouTube, right? And I'm like, uh, yeah. So his name was Ryan, so we chatted for just a quick second because. It's madness at these places. You gotta hurry up, dump, and move. So, Ryan said he watches the video, so what's up? Thanks for saying hi, that was pretty cool. And uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna keep moving around here. Well, that's all that's really going on today. The H is humming along over there on the next bin we just tapped into. Just gonna load that full of beans and we're just getting a few sprinkles. So we'll see if we can't get it loaded quick here and part. There's one guinea hen that the neighbors, they just, it just keeps coming over here. Kinda cool, but uh, that's it for today. So you guys take it easy, be safe, and we'll check you later.